Yep. Whenever you start kindergarten, you're excited for so many things. You're making friends, you have teachers, you're going to art class. The first day that I went into art class, first thing my teacher looked at us and said is, don't eat anything. Don't put any of it in your mouth. Well, she walked on to another table. I sat there. I got out my purple Elmer's glue stick and I took a bite out of it. Now, granted, it was non-toxic, but it was the worst thing I think I've ever ate. So, even though you tell kids not to do something, more than likely, being a kindergartner, you're gonna do it. And let's be honest, no one's judging in here. How many of you guys, whenever you were younger or you have younger siblings, ate glue or paint or a crayon or anything like that? See, Rise them high. I tried to Rise them high. Now we see, now I'm not the only one. So this is why we have come up with the idea of making doodle paint. And like Shay said, every kid does it, okay? And whether you all like it or not, the older we get, the older or the closer we become to being parents. And so this is something that we all need to know. So um, our kids are not harmed by their art supplies. The benefits of making your own doodle paint is it's non-toxic and you know exactly what is in it. So if your child ingests it, you know they're gonna be fine. Okay, the materials that you need for doodle paint it's so easy to make. There's only four things that you really need. There's flour, which comes from wheat that is grown in the United States and even in Kentucky. There's salt, which is mined in China mostly, but US, the U.S. is a close second. And then water. We have spring water from Kentucky. Everyone has water. And then coloring agents, which you can use food coloring that you buy at your supermarket. Or you can also go a step further and go to your farmer's market and get blueberries, strawberries, any kind of coloring agent, agent like that. And then you'll also need plastic bowls, spoons, painting utensils, or you can even finger paint. Exactly. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain the steps first and then we'll go through and we'll actually do it as a class. Um, so you all have the ingredients down at the very end of the tables. But it's there's literally five steps to this and then you can start painting and have a blast. Um, but you make sure that you follow each of these steps for each color that you make. In the bowl or as you have the cups, you're gonna mix equal parts of the salt, the flour, and the water. Now we're just gonna take your spoonful and just do a spoonful of each. Um, you're gonna mix well together, make sure there's no clumps because let's be honest, who wants clumpy paint? And then the once the mixture is blended well, you're gonna add the coloring, but you wanna just add a little bit first, and then the more um, vibrant the color that you want, the more coloring agents you can add. And then right after that, you can finger paint, or you can use brushes, and you can do whatever you want. And we did bring baby wipes so you guys can finger paint. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why you have out a sheet of paper. Okay, does anybody have any questions before we actually yeah, get started with the activity? Started. And like, um, if you think that your paint is too thick, you can add more water and stuff like that. Like you just fix it how you think it needs to be done. Exactly. So do you guys So everything's going to yeah. start on like this end and go down. So we're gonna, first we're going to start with the flower. So the person at the very end can go ahead and get started. And you're just going to do one spoonful. This is like a great way that like even though okay. we're all a little young if we're babysitting or something and it's a rainy day and you can't go outside and play like this is a great way to keep children entertained in the house exactly you don't need that much <laughs> there you go that's about right <laughs> it literally a little bit takes it a long way And also, if you are making this with children, like in a class or something, you can always up the measurements. Like you can use a half cup of each or a cup. And exactly. Um, if you, the bigger that you, um, they said like to make it into bottles, like to paint bottles, then you use half a cup of each. So does everyone have their flour? All right, and then we're gonna add the salt. 
Then you just do a spoonful of salt, just like you did a spoonful of flour. The same amount. And then you can start mixing and make sure you mix it well. Right here. Yeah. We do. No, I've got this. All right. How much of this do you have? Or like a lot. This, yeah, spoonful. The same amount. important. Oh, oh sorry. Hey. It's easy to clean up. No problems. Yeah, it's like soap and water will get it off of anything because it's just flour and stuff. It's just like baking, except you don't cook it. Yeah. And say, you can all, like, like I said, you can add more water if to it. If you think that it's too thick, can you add more water? Yeah, add more water. Yeah, add more water. <laughs> About this consistency right here is good. You made a biscuit. <laughs> huh? Oh, you can. I got it. Probably need a little more than that. Maybe a little more. Thank you. Mine's a little bit runny. Yeah, then we whip it when we start. You can, you can whip it. Was it real good? Or you can start. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else gets that reference right there. Yeah. Okay. okay. And if you're ready for colors, just let me know when you can pick out your color. Oh. Such you ready for colors? Yeah. What kind of color? Okay. I've, we've just got the, the main colors, and then we have green. But you can add different ones. <laughs> a little bit of red. Is that too much red? It'll be okay. I guess we'll find out. The more color you add, the more vibrant the color will be. And you can also be creative and put like red and yellow together to make orange and. Blue. I want blue. Yeah, purple. blue and red to make, yeah, purple. And we also, like, the other night when we were practicing, Katie painted pictures for us. <laughs> so, you know, it does And work. it does dry. We can pass those around. Yeah. Like, can feel the and way we, that it dries. You can, we can pass them around. I would not suggest to, like, A tulip. It's a tulip. <laughs> I would not suggest to use doodle paint, like, Just pass the colors on. If you're in like an actual like art class or this is not Picasso's paint. Yeah. This is a, a cheap and easy way to keep children or exactly. even yourself entertained because we enjoyed it the other night as well. Exactly. And while you're doing this, you can also teach them the importance of agriculture, like where all of the, these ingredients come from and how we get them. I want to paint. I need a color. I, 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 I love purple. I'm gonna drop it mine. And then once you get your color, you can finger paint on your papers. And we have baby wipes, so nobody be afraid to get a little messy. And like we said, this is non-toxic. You could mm -hmm. eat it if you wanted to. Shay actually did try it. Just to make I did it try it the other so night. If you guys don't believe me, Amanda will try it today. No, I won't. Hey, can I have the water, please? Some old oh, And it tastes like Play-Doh, actually. Like, have any of you guys like ate? Have you guys ate Play-Doh? I've tasted Play-Doh. Yeah, that's exactly how this tastes like. This is not the color I was going for. Struggle bus. Wow. Green. This is really pretty color of green. I'm, I just put one drop of blue in mine. It's like a sky baby, like a... Robin's egg blue. That's yellow. I just was looking at the color of the liquid and it was red. So you can, what color are you making? Whee! You're going to share your color with me? Sure. Who are you working with? My hair's blue. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. And we will pass around I already spilled, but Katie's paintings, and, and you, you can, can like you can feel them. Them. You can feel the graininess of the the salt and That's the flour so cool. together, but it still it still works. That's it so still cool. dries like regular paint. It these these were dry. We did these last night, and they were dry this morning. Uh, every time I woke up. What am I painting? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Oh, uh, where did I put my paper? Does everybody understand how this relates to agriculture? And also, if you are shopping for children, you're buying markers and stuff, it's always nice to check the packaging to make sure that they are non-toxic because there are some products out there that still aren't. And also, this is a very cheap way. You know, if you're babysitting and you don't have any money, because you usually don't when you're in college, then you can, these are always common household products. Struggle bus. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a rainbow. I'm gonna make a rainbow. <laughs> this is perfect color for green. Okay, well we hope that you guys enjoy your doodle paint. Continue, continue. Yeah, just, just keep painting. It's 11 minutes I'm gonna make a rainbow. I think my paint was too, is too liquidy. Well, no, I think that's about right. You think that's about good? I felt what mine is, and I like what it's saying. But it doesn't look like a fire. Can I drink this water? Okay, what are some things that did well? Amanda covered really well after dropping that. Is this purified? Jay's intro was good. Thank you. I mean, I like the board. It was really instructive to the eye.